Take a look at this image. Can you create me an image of an astronaut walking through a galaxy of sunflowers? Sure, I'll use Image Creator to draw that for you. And just like that, we have an amazing astronaut walking in the, through a galaxy sunflower. Now, if you haven't checked out Dolly before, I'm just gonna run it down quickly for you here. And you can obviously see like a koala dunking a basketball. Y'all have probably seen these things before. You can also uh, remove a dog and put a cat in there and it almost looks exactly seamless, right? You can see that it has gotten way better over time. You can see that it's trained on all these images and now can create obviously really cool images on, of a koala on a motorbike and maybe even put a little mohawk on Mona Lisa and even create tree bark or <laughs> tree bark. And this is the complications that they're having while integrating text and images and why that's kind of hard to do, right? So you can see here that it's been trained for a long time and yada yada, monkey paying taxes. This almost looks like my ex-accountant right here. Now I've actually used Dolly for uh, quite a bit and it was kind of not so good. It didn't really perform the best, but it has gotten an upgrade that makes it way better now. Now, if you don't want to pay for Dolly, you can actually get access to it free through Bing. Let me actually go through this now. So you can see here that Bing Image Creator now allows you to create an image simply by using your own words to describe the picture you want to see. The human brain processes visual information about 60,000 times faster than text. That's crazy, 60,000 times faster. Making visual tool a critical way for people to search, create and gain understanding. Now, if I actually go to Bing right now and I go to Bing chat and I ask it, can you create an image of a train? I'm sorry, but I'm not able to create images. However, I can help you find images of trains. Would you like me to do that? I can say yes, please. And then it will use Bing search to just you know, pop up images of trains. Oh, what a lovely locomotive. As far as I know, this is only available now to beta users, but there is another way to access it. Now, Bing Image Creator Preview will also be available in Microsoft Edge by making it the first and only browser with an integrated AI powered image generator, which is really nice. Now, obviously their teams are guided by our responsible AI principles and responsible AI standard. And this might be a big reason why they're not actually pushing it out right away. They've had some controversy for Bing actually, you know, gaslighting uh, users and saying kind of bad words to the users. And they don't want to have that happen with images because it will probably be about 60,000 times more damaging. <laughs> Now, to curb the potential misuse of Image Creator, we are working together with our partner OpenAI or develop Dal E to deliver an experience that encourages responsible use of Image Creator. So that's cool. I mean, I've never seen like very bad images of Dolly or Midjourney or all of those. Uh, they actually are really good at not creating uh, kind of weird or harmful images. And you have to go to the deeper, darker, stable diffusion models to find out how to do that. Uh, to support the growing demand for more visual search experiences, we are also making stories and knowledge cards 2.0 available to all Bing users. So you can see here that the, who cares, right? Availability, Bing Image Creator integrated into Bing Chat will begin to roll out to Bing preview users. So this is what I'm talking about on both desktop and mobile starting today. So this is about a week old here, but if you wanna use it, you can go to bing.com slash create. And I actually just did that and I created an image here. So the, pre the prompt that I was using was intergalactic city on Mars. And I wanna compare it to some other models as well. So you can see here that the intergalactic cities, honestly, pretty decent, right? It's Dolly, so the model is pretty good, you know, like it's just what Dolly would put, pump out here. And I tried it against Mid Journey as well. Now I wanna do a couple of different um, versions so you guys can kind of see how it looks like. 
kind of faint in the background, not so detailed, it's a little foggy, and even the geometry here is not really looking very, very good. And the detail is kind of missing. Now I did the exact same prompt here on Mid Journey, and obviously V4 is better than Doll E here and being image creator. So you can see here, or to me at least stylistically, it's just so much better. Like look at that dome. Look, it even created this little cave type of lookout. And this is just the first variation here. You can see this other one as well, kind of paints a story of this, what is this box doing here? And is it like kind of on its way back to this pointy spaceship? You also have this other building here that is looking amazing. I love how this looks like. And this is version four. Now they actually released version five, which is more realistic and looks even crazier. So look at the detail and the scale of this intergalactic space uh, or city on Mars. And you can see obviously that Mid Journey version five just knocks it out of the park. I'm gonna do a few different models to see which one you guys like better. Let's do an astronaut riding a horse. <clears throat> and obviously the images are still very good. You know, it's like we just got these type of tools like a month ago. Now, I like the way the astronaut looks and the horse. I also like the style of these ones, but let me actually, and actually this one looks really, really good on big image creator here. Now, let me see what happened on mid journey. You can see here, this is version four. Straight off the bat, you can see that we even got an American flag on there, damn. We even got another American flag on the back. Uh, I didn't write in space, right? But apparently all of these images were in space. Uh, and you can see here also on version five, they created different versions of it in different style as well. Come on, this one gotta be my favorite here. Damn, it's on the moon. The astronaut guy looking so proud as well. But to be honest, very, very nice looking from this prompt here. The horse looking a little wonky. It looks like it hasn't got sleep. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Let's try one more. This one inside a futuristic house looking out over the city. So I'm gonna click on create here. And first I'm gonna explain you actually have a boost option. So it creates images more click quickly with boost. If you run out of image generation, it may take longer. And this one, it definitely didn't do a good job at all. Um, it's, uh, I don't even know what it tried to do here. You can see mid journey version four, <laughs> just so cool. Do you want to live like this? Damn. I tried another one saying looking out the window and still, yeah, it's not that good. I don't even know what they're trying to do here, which is my experience with Dolly as well, is that it just isn't the best one. I would rather use Mid Journey on 99% of the cases. And here you got Mid Journey version five. Jesus Christ. It's just so good. Are you kidding me? Would you wanna live here? Wow, there really is no competition with Mid Journey, but the use case of using it through chat, right? That's really what we're looking at. So if it's more accessible, if it's more convenient, people are gonna use Dolly and Bing Chat Image Creator more just because it's there. But I gotta give it some sort of redemption or something. So I'm gonna just say, this is grandpa eating a cheesy pizza. I mean, it's decent, it's not the best. Hopefully we can get even better images created soon. <laughs> this dude literally got, got a block of cheese in the other hand and the cheesy pizza. And dude, don't eat it with a fork. <laughs> like all of these images are so weird. This dude doing like, not the pointy tip, he's gonna bite directly into like the back of the, the crust first. If you want videos like this where I share the newest updates on AI with you every single day, subscribe to the channel.